Well, now this is a surprise. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the beautiful Chesil Beach here in Dorset. And I am alive. After two weeks of being in bed, I thought it was fine, finally time to get my finger out my backside, get myself out and get myself on Chesil Beach. So if you like your fishing videos and you don't mind me with a croaky voice, then this is definitely, most definitely the video for you. Thanks again for watching my channel, everyone. It means the world to me. Let's go fishing. Let's try and learn something. And hopefully I get into a few fish. Welcome back. Thanks everyone, thanks for watching my latest video. This one, um, and I hope it's a good one. Obviously this is an intro, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but the weather's fine. I've got loads of different rigs to try. I've got plenty of bait, and I'm sure with a little bit of effort, I get into a few fish. But do you know what? I don't really care. As you probably know, because you watch my channel, I've done a little short. Unfortunately, I got struck down by COVID at Glastonbury Festival. Well, you may be thinking, well, that's your fault for going to the festival, and you'd absolutely be right. But after two and a bit years of this pandemic, I've been lucky enough to not catch this dreadful, whatever it is, super cold, and it was my time to catch it. I have my jabs, so I've done all I should have done, but I can tell you, for some reason, the naughty COVID thought it would knock me out, and it definitely did. All right, but we don't need to dwell on that. It affects everyone different. And I'm just lucky that I'm here and I'm enjoying being back on this amazing beach. I've just set up now. I'm gonna come back in a minute with the rigs that I'm gonna use, talk you through my techniques, talk you through my bait as per normal. But do you know what? The sun's shining, it's a beautiful evening here in Dorset and I'm gonna give it a go. So this rig doesn't need any introduction. All right, this is a Bagnall bar with a nice loomy rolling lad. So what I'm gonna do this evening is target black bream. To be honest, I haven't really kept up with catch reports, so I don't really know how it's fishing. What I'm gonna do is come, come along, scratch around, nice small hooks, bits of bling, small bits of bait, keep it going in. Hopefully we can get into a few bream maybe the odd place, maybe a gurnard. Basically, a species hunt, really. I've dropped the hooks down to size ones. The biggest hooks I've got is one O's. I've got loads of different styles of rigs. I've got the earth rig with three down. I've got three at clip downs with real small snoods, tiny hooks, just to mix it up, get some movement, plenty of bling, plenty of effort, plenty of I don't know, bait going in, and I'm bang to hopefully get into a few fish. As I mentioned, the main target today is bream. I haven't really seen any coming in, and I know it's, it's still quite early for a bream, but if I keep the baits going in, keep the bling going in, you never know, I've got to be in with a chance of a beautiful Dorset black bream. As I mentioned before, my first rig going out today is a Bagnall bar, on a rolling net. So let's get this one baited up. Let's get it out there and I'll bring you back and I'll show you my other rigs and hopefully you'll understand. Hopefully we might learn something and hopefully, just hopefully, I might get into a few fish. So for my second rig, I've got the, what they call an earth rig. All right, it's a little bar. It's like a little bar rig really. I've been using these quite a while. I've, I think it was about five years ago I'd done a magazine feature with Tom Bagnall on the Earth Rig. We used it out of Hinglesbury Head for Seoul. It's, a definitely, a good, it's definitely a good rig. Sorry, today I might struggle a little bit because my mind's still a little bit foggy. So you've got to bear with me on this one. All right, it may not be as professional. Well, 
are my videos ever professional? But I may not be myself in this video, but as the weeks goes on, I'm sure I'll get back to myself. If there is such a, a thing as being back to myself, and the videos will get a bit better. So if you just bear with me, I like to get a little bit breathless, but I'm all clear now of COVID. I've just got a few things hanging around that make me feel a little bit unwell. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm the lucky one. Right, so what this is, is an earth rig, all right? Plenty of movement. So I attach that end there to my shock leader. It's easier when I put it on the rod and I'll show you, all right? And then this rig got the snood coming down, okay? Plenty of movement to three hooks, okay? Glued stoppers to one hook. As you see, plenty of bling. Oh, I've caught the, caught the camera stand. To two more hooks down there, all right? This is called an earth rig. That's on the bottom. This is three below, all right? So all three of these hooks are gonna be below the lead. So they're gonna be pinned on the deck. But as I'm using a rolling lead, as I'm using really light snoods, small hooks, little bit of bling, we should get plenty of movement. Because unfortunately today, we haven't got a really big tide. I think it's 3.2 meters. So I'm gonna have to do all I can to get movement. Couple of little winds now and again. Lighter weights, I may drop down to two ounce or three ounce just to try and get a bit of movement today to attract the bream and maybe a place, maybe a gurnard. And if we're super, super, super lucky, I may get into a trigger. I don't know what the spider crab situation is at the moment. I'm sure it's pretty bad, but I've made plenty of rigs. I'm sure I'm gonna lose some hooks, but if I keep putting the effort in, using minimal snoods, tiny hooks, plenty of bait, sand hill, squid, ragworm, little bits of crab, I'm sure I can attract a few bream and you never know, I might get into a few fish. That's rig number two. What I'm gonna do is get my third rig out, come back and I'll show you that. And then at least you know the way that I'm targeting the fish today. And hopefully you can try it in the future and you never know, it might work for you also. Just stick with it. I don't know how it's gonna to go today or this evening. It's now five o'clock. I'm gonna fish into the evening. I may actually stay overnight and fish first light. Just depends on how I feel. But I feel very lucky to be here and I hope you enjoy this video. So on my third rig today, I'm using a free at clip down with plenty of bling, as you can see. Bream, love a luminous yellow, in my opinion. Right? So I think you know what a free at clip down is. Basically it's free hooks, light snoods, smallish hooks, plenty of bling, little strips of squid, little strips of sand eel, little bits of ragworm, stuck out there, changed every about 20 minutes, depending on the spider situation. Hopefully I can get plenty of movement and get into a few fish. So my first rig today is a Bagnall bar, or this evening is a Bagnall bar. My second one is an earth rig, three hooks below, plenty of movement, luminous leads, rolling it round, you know the routine by now. And my third rig is a free at clip down. Getting plenty of bait, plenty of scent, although I don't know if there's any scent because I cannot smell or taste anything. And as you know by now, I love my food. So that's probably the most depressing thing about this whole thing, but I don't know. So when I drive home later or tomorrow, I could stink a fish. I don't really care. But look, I'm going to get the rod set up. I'm going to come back. I'll do a little bit of baiting up with you get them clipped up, get them out there, and hopefully I can film a few bites and we may get into a few bring. It's a beautiful evening. All right, I've got some pop-up rigs as well. Hopefully target a garfish or a mackerel. I definitely need some mackerel for this evening because what I'm gonna do as per normal, when it goes dark, I'm gonna switch it up, put some pulleys out there, some droppers, some whole mackerel in close, and hopefully we can get into some zombies that come out at night and not just me on the beach. I'm gonna get myself set, come back, do a little bit of baiting up, and hopefully we can get a few bites on camera. Thanks for joining me, everyone. This is Chesel, my name's Wayne. It's a privilege to fish for you yet again. Let's see if we can get into some few fish. Hi, everyone, welcome back. I just thought I'd take this opportunity to talk you through my kit this evening and what I'm gonna be using. So this is what's known as a 
continental style rod. It's 4.2 meters long. Coming out of Tronix Pro, it's a competition match GT. I've got the GT with me and the HT. For me, they're like the Formula One of three piece rods. I absolutely love them. They're probably my favorite rods out of Tronix Pro. And that's what I'm using tonight. Normally, as you know, I use mortar pliers, but I haven't got super amount of energy and I don't want to keep going on about it, but I haven't. All right, these are pretty straightforward. I've got a 14,000 style Shimano reel on there. Straight over the head, thump, quick retrieve, no messing around. If I get some bites, straight into them. I just don't think I could have the energy to, to use mortar pliers and keep casting, pendulum casting or whatever you want, power casting all night would proper wipe me out. So here we are. There's nothing wrong with these rods. They're absolutely stunning. This setup is perfect for the South Coast and Chesil. And as you know by now, 90% of all, probably 100% of like the England team, the international boys and girls use this style rod. Absolute no problem here on Chesil. Nice and quick, speed fishing. As you've seen with my rigs, I'm pretty much match fishing, scratching around this evening to see if I can get into some fish. When it goes dark, I'll switch it up, put some big baits out in the gutter, sit back, lights off, nice and relaxed, and hopefully we can get into a few rays, a bass, or you know maybe a big conger. I'm gonna get baiting up, I'm gonna get this one out there, and let's go fishing. That's all I've got to say. Let's do this. I'm pretty excited. I don't seem it, but I am, all right? I'm pretty hot. I'm sweating. I'm all clear from COVID, all right? I've been showing clear for four days, but it's still a bit of a struggle, and we'll just do the best we can. Thanks for being patient, and thanks for sticking with me, everyone. Let's catch some fish. So at the moment, the tide is ripping from left to right. So as you can see, I'm going to walk up. But this is my earth rig. As you can see, all three hooks are below the lead. There's my snood. There's my first hook, a nice bit of squid. I'm just gonna walk this down to you. My second one, nice bit of ragworm. And there's my third one there, a bit of squid. All right. So you don't clip this rig up. You just normally lay it on the floor, but I'm not worried about power casting. I've elasticated my squid on, I've put my worm on. So it's all gonna be fine. So as of before, all I'm gonna do just a gentle little flick. This rig's amazing for plenty of movement. So I just wanna, there you go. I can see all the baits are still intact. Now last get it on. Distance for me isn't overly important with rigs like this. What you gain in movement, what you gain in presentation definitely helps. As before, it's not rough, so I'm not gonna tighten it right up and have a tight I'm not going to have it tight to the lead. I'm just going to let the tide pick up the slack and hopefully pull us round. It sounds good. Plenty of bling, plenty of movement, but who knows? This is Chesil Beach. You know what it can fish like. Let's just give it a try. I've got loads of different style rigs. Keep it interesting, scratching around. Hopefully I'll get into a few fish. Thanks for watching everyone. So just changing the bait on my earth rig. First cast, firstly, my bottom hook is gone. My second one, I have a spider, but my third, I have a gurnard, yeah. I've caught a fish, everyone, first cast. This is a tub, oh, what a little. Listen to him, put him next to my mic. He's barking like a dog. Oh, oh. It's like a bullfrog. Anyway, there's a beautiful tub going out. Oh, sorry mate. I didn't want to drop him really. But yeah, he's beauty. It's not a very big one. I'm gonna get this little chap back, but my rigs are working. Unfortunately, I've lost the middle hook, but that's fine. Because I'm using an earth rig, I can just attach another hook. I've got to thread it back through the, the bead. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, but at least the rig's not ruined. And that's the reason for using it. If a spider's about, if I was using like on the other one, a free at clip down, if I lost a hook, the rig's useless. But anyway, there's a tub. I'll get them out of the sun. I'll get them in a bucket and I'll get them back. But a fish first cast. Alongside a bloody spider. 
Anyway, let's get this chat back. I was just sorting out another rig and my right hand rod just come flying over and then back, it's slap line that everywhere. So it's, hopefully we're into a fish. Slack everywhere, look. My God. Man, the tide is really pulling as well, so. Hopefully there's a fish on there. Oh, it's right down tide. Well, I could be into a fish, hopefully. Yes. Oh. Guess what, everyone? I got my target bream. I got a lovely bream. <laughs> on my earth rig. So there we are. Target species, a Dorset bream. Not the biggest, but it's a target. And I caught it on my earth rig, on a bit of squid. So everything's working, the rigs are working, so I'm pretty pleased. So I've had a Gurnard and a target bream. What more can you ask for? I'm going to get this little chap back, but that's how to do it. Cheers, Mr. Bream. The sun's going down. Hopefully there's a few more, and hopefully we can get a bigger one. Cheers, everyone. All right, I'm Rod. Whack, whack, whack. Come on, son. There he is. Yes. There he is. This one's there. Oh, yeah, on my earth rig again. Oh, that's a better one. Sun's just setting. As you're just seeing some lovely pull downs. Looks like a classic bream on the bite. Yes, it's definitely a better one if it's a bream. Sometimes though you get mackerel. I don't know. Hopefully this is a better bream. It's definitely pulling. <laughs> wow. I don't know if it is a bream. If it is, it's got an attitude problem. Just look at that. It's going mad. Oh, it's going mental. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh. Don't come off. Oh. And a bit lighter. No, he's still there. Don't come off. Oh, there's an undulate on my earth rig. Oh, what a beauty. Look at that. Now that is a beautiful fish. Oh, look at that undie on my earth rig. He's absolutely nailed it. Oh, what a beautiful fish. What I'm gonna do is turn the camera around so you can see that in the sun. But that is a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful undulate ray, everyone. Oh, on my little earth rig. He's took a tiny bit of squid. <coughs> but that is definitely what it was all about. I definitely didn't think it was an undie, but if I was using normal rigs with two hooks or one hook, I probably wouldn't have put a bit of squid on this time of night. I would have probably just fished for bream or the odd place. But because I put, because I've got three hooks and I put a nice little bit of squid, he has absolutely nailed that, but I'll get it out because I've got my T-bar. But there you go. There's a Chesil Beach Undulate, everyone. What an absolute beautiful fish. Thank you, Mr. Undulate. I feel well chuffed that I'm down here now. I know I haven't caught amazing fish, but I've had three fish in four casts. As you know, I'm not feeling that great, but I've got a smile on my face, everyone. Let's get this chat back. Thank you, Mr. Undulate. Cheers, everyone. Although I can't taste anything, or even smell, I just need to feed myself. Which is a strange, con strange concept, that when you have COVID, or you have things, you know, hanging on, it's a pretty strange thing, because you don't really feel hungry. But, I'm sure it smells beautiful. What an absolute beautiful evening on Chesil, everyone. Oh.
Anyway, I'll come back when these are proper sizzling. As the sun goes down again, indoors it, I thought I'd just show you it. I don't think I'll ever get sick of that sight. It's absolutely beautiful. I've been here a couple of hours, I've had a couple of fish, well I've had three fish. And my method is working, small hooks, little baits, plenty of movement. Those earth rigs are probably only going out 60, 70 yards. And it's working. So sometimes chisel's not all about distance. <coughs> Obviously it helps. But I've got more movement. I'm able to pop the, the bait around. And it's working. That's the sun going down. I'm going to continue cooking my burgers. I'm going to show you them in a minute. I'm going to keep fishing till it gets dark. But what I've decided to do is I'm not actually going to fish at night. Because there's been a few fish around this evening. I'm going to fish first light, so I'm going to get some sleep, get up, half free, get the earth rigs out, get the clip down rigs, small hooks, small baits, keep them going in and hopefully I can get into a few more bream and you never know what other species we can target. So just like you, I can't smell them, I won't be able to taste them, but they look good. I think I might have burnt one a little bit because I can't smell it. Bite. Look at that. Smashed them. Yeah. Got to be a hang, I think. My little rigs are working a treat. That's a good thing, like I say to people. If you use small hooks, you can catch anything. If you use big hooks, you limit yourself. And I literally, I'm just using this little earth rig. And it's just working a treat. I'm probably casting 60 yards max. Couple of ragworm, bit of squid, and I'm into a fish. I think this might be a hound. I was just cooking my burgers, and I had my line going off a reel. What a beauty, what a beautiful evening. I've got tiny hooks, I've got size one hooks. But, as I like to say, if you get a small hook in there, it stays in there. He says, now I'm hoping. I'll just put my hoodie on, it's getting cold. Definite nice fish. What I'm gonna do is take you down to the water. Yeah. Feels very much like a smooth hound. If it's not, it's decent, whatever it is. This could be four fish and five casts. The spiders have left me alone, so I'm loving life. Oh. I've got so small, <laughs> I've got small hooks, I've just got to go for it now, haven't I? I think it's going to be a hound. It's going up and down, like, okay, yes. There you go. A Dorset hound. Right, I'm going to put the rod down and go and get him because I've got tiny hooks. Amazing, aren't they? How they just hang on. But yeah, what a little session I'm having. Anyway, thanks, Mr. Hound. I'll get this one back. But yeah, lovely. Let's get it back. Chesil Beach and she's been quite kind to me. As you've seen I've had four nice fish, 
scratching around, little bits of bait, little hooks, and it's definitely working. I'm probably only casting 50, 60 yards out. But my rigs are definitely working. I knew they would. And I'm pretty pleased. As I'm old now, and I feel older than ever, I'm not actually going to fish tonight. What I'm going to do is get some sleep, because I am pretty tired. Get up first light, get up about half three, get the brain rigs out again, get the place rigs out, and fish really hard till about 11 o'clock. And have a good go. I've had four fish in about six casts, and I'm pretty pleased the way it's been going. A beautiful little undulate, a nice hound, a bream, and a gurnard. So it's definitely working. Hopefully tomorrow morning, first light is prime time to catch a bream. Hopefully I can get a nice bream to take home and eat, because I love eating bream. But firstly, I want to catch one. I like the bites. I think they look beautiful on the camera. And they're probably one of my favourite fish on chisel. So I'm going to chill out. I'm going to get in my shelter. Put the radio on, listen to that sea, hopefully get some sleep. And when I come back in the morning, I'll be game on, I'll fish hard, and we definitely got a chance. See you in the morning, everyone. Night night, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Morning. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the beautiful Chesil Beach. It's 10 to 4, I've been up for about an hour, I've got a nice hot chocolate, I'm just watching the world go by. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not a breath of wind, the sea is flat, and I'm pretty excited about the next couple of hours if I'm being honest. As I mentioned before in previous videos, bring fishing as it is best at first light. If they're here, we will get them. So I've just baited up again. My earth rig worked a treat yesterday. I've dropped my snooze down to 0.2 or 14 pound. I have little 1 offset hooks. I have little strips of squid, little strips of rag with a little bit of bling. And I'm just going to stick them, same as yesterday, 30, 40 yards out, and have a go. As you've seen yesterday, I had four species in five casts, and that is what I wanted. That's what I said at the start of the video. If I drop my hook size down, if I drop my snood size down, with this bright sunshine, I definitely still got a chance of some fish. And I was right. Yeah. It doesn't always work like that. But that was a plan and it's worked. So hopefully it works again this morning. The sun is just coming up behind us. I'm not sure if you can see. It's absolutely stunning. And it's definitely my favorite time to be on the beach. Or my favorite time to be anywhere, really. It's our little secret. And as fishermen or fisherwomen, we know all about this. But we try not to tell too many people. So I'm not gonna tell you anymore. But if you know, you know. So as you can see, it's just getting light. I've got my rigs ready, all baited up. I'm going to put them in now. I like to hold off until first light because sometimes, as you probably know, the pating is still there, the dogfish are still there, and I don't want to mess up my rigs. As I mentioned, I've dropped my snoods right down the last thing I want is dogfish smash, smashing up my finesse rigs. So I think it's bright enough, I think it's light enough, and hopefully the bream are on the feed. So for my first rod again, I've got my earth rig, which is free down. Got a nice bit of ragworm on the pop-up. And then I've got a little bit of squid on one, with a bit of bling and a little bit of rag on the other. So I've got three hooks below the lead, pinned to the floor, but I'm using a three ounce lead on this one to get some movement, and that is definitely what the bream like. So it's time to fish, eh? So I'm just gonna stick this one. As it's not a clip down rig, and it's finesse, 
I literally would be chucking this 30, 40 yards the same as yesterday. I had three of my fish on here and one on my bagnell bar. So I'm just going to stick this in, nice and gentle. And we're away. First cast of the day. I've seen some mackerel jump in. So the mackerel are here already, which is a great sight. Right. Hopefully, to get into some bites straight away. Well, that's the aim anyway. If I bring them here, they'll be here now. They should be here really till sort of 10 o'clock and then they'll probably go off for a bit. But sometimes they can be here all day. There's one out. And the second one is a free at clip down, but I'm not even going to clip it down. Plenty of bling. Ragworm and squid, again, perfect for bream. And I'm not going to worry about whacking it. It's nice and gentle. There you go, simple overhead thump. 70, 80 yards. Now for bream now, I should get bite straight away. They weren't here in numbers yesterday. As you've seen, I've caught one. <laughs> but, but first light is definitely better than last light for bream. Right. I've got another rig ready. I'm all prepped this morning. Ready to fish hard and hopefully get a few bream on camera. Because I mentioned earlier, they do go off about nine, 10 o'clock. They normally go off to feed. So as a great saying goes, you've got to make hay while the sun shines. Or in this case, while the sun's coming up. Anyway, let's sit back, let's relax, let's wait for that telltale tap, 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 and hopefully when I come back, I'll be into a few bream. Good morning, everyone, and thanks again for joining me on the beautiful Chesil Beach. First cast. There's a bit of weight on there, but I think it might be spiders. I've had bites. But nothing definite. That's definitely a bit of weight. Could be a naughty spider. Could be a fly or something. Just holding on. Definitely a bit of weight. I'll keep going to say. Size one Nordic bends. I've got to take my time, wind it in nice and slow. I've got a feeling I might have a spider on here, but you never know. So my earth rig again. Oh, lamb. Oh. It's not a very nice start to the day, is it now? A massive spider and my rig is absolutely ruined. Come on A spider and a hermit. Lovely, just what you don't need. Anyway, I'll sort that mess out. Getting spidered out on my beautiful earth rig I've gone back to the old faithful just a bagnell bar a single hook hopefully the spiders aren't here in numbers but first cast, first spider is definitely not good that one the other one in now not looking forward to that either Now that's a bring bite. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Supreme bite, everyone. Beautiful, got it on camera. Said I had a little bite earlier, so I thought I'd leave the camera rolling. Definitely a bream. Fighting like a bream anyway. Yes. There you go. A bream in the side. Oh. Sorting out the bream. And then the other rod just nearly left the rest. Definitely a smooth one this time. Whoa. Good one. Yeah, I was fighting that. <laughs> fighting. I was just putting the bream in the bucket and I heard pebbles. And I looked around and the rod was up in the air. My God, my rigs are working a treat again. The same as last night. Use small hooks, you can catch any fish. Use large hooks and you limit yourself. These are little fine Nordic wire, Tronics Pro size ones. And this is definitely a hound, I should imagine. Not a big one though. It's come alive. Chesil's being nice to me. First light, eh? Telltale hound. Wow, oh, it's going mad. <laughs> it's going mental. <laughs> it's going absolutely crazy, isn't it? Proper hound. Not massive, I don't think. Just going mental. Jump in. All right. It's too big to pull at the beach. Oh, oh, that was absolute carnage for a bit. I got a bream in the bucket. And almost had my second rod pulled in by this beauty. It's not the biggest hound, but it's a hound at first light. And there's method in my madness. Thank you, Mr. Hind. Well, great start to the day. Plenty of fish, plenty of bites. Hi, right, Mr. Hound. We'll get you back. But yeah, there's a Dorset Hound. Beautiful. The sun's just not up yet. But look at that. Look at the eye on it. That's exactly what you need. Anyway, I'll get this chap back. Thank you, darling. What a beautiful fish. There you go. I did foul hook this one. But yeah, he's fine. It's definitely working. I'm getting a few fish. And my techniques are working. My rigs are working. And the fish are showing up for me. Which is great. Anyway, I'll get this beautiful bream back. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And we're definitely into a few fish. As the seasons move on in Chesil, it definitely picks up. I've been telling you this for weeks. And we're getting somewhere. Thanks everyone. We'll bite on both. Yeah. There you go. That's on a bar rig. Yeah, that's on a bar rig, that one. A little bit of rag and a tip of squid. I've got a bite on both that. Masterclass in fishing at the moment, everyone. How many joking? Oh yeah, that's a bream on there, look at that. Oh, a bream on both. The right hand one looks a better fish, if I'm being honest. On the bar rig. Let's wait for it to go again. Yeah, he's still down there. Let's be gentle. Bit of slack out. Yeah, got it. Hopefully, it's a nice bream, this one. Nice rag bait. Tip to squid. So it might come off. I think he has. Just swim it. Oh, 
come off this one. Oh. oh, I got him. Yeah. Nice. It's about a bring. Absolute beauty. There you go. On the bar ray. Yeah, that's the best bream of the session so far. Just caught that one on the Bagnall bar. Strip of squid and a bit of ragworm. Beautiful, hey? What a beautiful fish. Hopefully they, they come this size and hopefully I can get a bigger one. But that's definitely on the up. It's the biggest bream of the session. So thank you, Mr. Bream. Let's let him go. It's gone a bit quiet and now I've got a bream bite on the right hand rod. Slacking me off a bit. It's just coming up to six o'clock. It goes again, there it is. Yeah, nice. It's having one of them days, I'm afraid, where it's, uh, everything's working which is nice. I've had a good few weeks to plan this session, so I'm pretty pleased with myself. Yeah, I've not caught any bingo fish, but I've caught some nice fish. It's all about target, technique, results. And that's what Chesel's all about. Another bream on there. He's kicking. Nice. Oh, that's a better one. Definitely. Oh, nice. Definitely a better bream. Yeah, another nice one. Sweet. There you go. Another Dorset bream. Beautiful. The sun's not up yet. The bream. I'm not very good at this, am I? The bream are on the feed. We're definitely getting results. But yeah, there's another bream. I'll put this one in the bucket because that one's big enough to take home. Thank you, Mr. Bream. So what I've decided to do. It's going to be hot today. Even though the last couple of bream have been keepers, I'm just going to put this one back. It's your lucky day. It's going to be hot. I'm going to probably be here till lunchtime. They won't be much good then, will they? Even if I keep them in water, they'll probably go a bit stinking. I'll get this chat back. Oh no. There you go. There you go. Little kick. Anyway, get the rods back out, hope for a bigger one. Yeah. Well, there's a treble shot. <laughs> a gurnard, a bullass, and a crab. Oh, that's... Back first. A Gurnard, another tub. I've been beat out this one. You're not the best conditioned, but I'll get them in the bucket and I'll get them back. And then my third one is a little spider crab. So that's definitely a treble shot. But anyway, that's fishing. I'm going to probably wind the other rod in now and get out of here. So I just want to thank you for watching my video today. Well, last night and this morning. Definitely had a good go. Caught plenty of fish, had a load of bites. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. 
and I look forward to seeing you again on this beach soon. Thanks, everyone. Well, well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Well, I hope it was. We caught a few fish, had some fun. I'm very pleased to be back out on this beach, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to come back out again in a couple of days and hopefully do similar, hopefully get into a few more fish as well. But things are definitely picking up and now's the time to get your fishing kit out and come out on chisel and catch some fish. Not because it started to fish better, just because you need to. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I haven't been that great and I couldn't really be bothered to be here. But now I've fished, I feel really good about myself. It's brightened me up and I feel more positive about getting over this COVID. Obviously, I'm not positive anymore, but you know what I mean. Getting over this COVID, stop being hanging, and I look forward to the future, and that's what fishing can do. My name's Wayne. It's been an absolute privilege to fish for you again on this beautiful Chesil Beach, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means the world, and I really appreciate it.